I'm going to explain the Model Context Protocol, or MCP, and it'll only take a few minutes. This new standard is changing how AI models interact with external systems. Think of MCP as the USB-C for AI, a universal connector that standardizes how large language models like Claude, ChatGPT, and Gemini access external data sources, tools, and systems. If you've ever wanted AI assistance to directly interact with your databases or tools without custom integration work, MCP is the solution you've been waiting for. MCP uses a client-server architecture with three key components. Hosts are LM applications like Cloud Desktop or Cursor IDE that initiate connections. Clients maintain one-to-one -one connections with servers inside the host application. And servers are lightweight services that expose specific capabilities like database access or API integrations. The great thing about this architecture is that it's completely standardized, meaning you can swap out different LMs or data sources without changing your integration code. Before I show you a real example, let's talk about popular use cases of how MCP transforms AI workflows. The first one is database management. With MCP, your AI assistant can directly query your database to analyze performance issues, generate and execute schema migrations based on your requirements, and create test data that matches your production patterns. The next use case is development workflow. For software engineers, MCP enables your AI to access your code base to suggest targeted improvements, run tests and analyze results to identify bugs, and deploy changes to staging environments and monitor outcomes. The final use case I'll mention is content creation. Content teams can use MCP to let their AI assistants pull analytics data to identify trending topics, access brand guidelines while drafting content, or publish directly to CMS systems with proper formatting. Let's see MCP in action with a practical example using Claude and the Neon Postgres MCP server. Neon is a serverless Postgres platform, and they've created an MCP server that allows your AI to directly manage database projects, run SQL queries, and more. It's a great use case for MCP. Also, Neon is sponsoring this video. So to set this up, you basically have two options. You can host it locally or use a remote hosted server. The remote hosted server is the simplest option, so that's what I'm gonna show you here. So you're gonna need a Neon account and you're gonna need an MCP client application. Now I'll be using the Claude Desktop, but this works with Cursor, WinSurf, ClientZ, and other applications like that. So first, you are going to have to go to your MCP client's settings where you configure M MCP servers. So this will be different depending on the client, but if we're using Claude Desktop, I can go to Claude and then Settings. Now I'll go to Developer, and then I'll go to Edit Config. Now this just created this configuration file, Claude Desktop config.json, and it'll be in different spots depending on if you're on Mac or Windows. So you can just open up that file in any text editor, and this is where we'll add our MCP servers. Right now, it basically it's just empty, but I'm gonna paste in this code so MCP servers, Neon, and then it's gonna use the command to run a small helper, MCP remote, that connects to Neon's hosted server endpoint. And the arguments will be different depending on what MCP server you're using. So I'll just save this, and then I'm going to restart Claude or whatever application you're using. Okay, I just refresh Claude, and the first time the client initializes the Neon's MCP server, it should trigger this OAuth flow and want me to authorize the MCP server to use within Claude. So I'll just click Authorize. Okay, now I can close this tab, and now I'm connected to the Neon Remote MCP server and it's ready to use, and it even says MCP is here, access integrations in this menu. And we can see that we have the Neon integration. If I go here, it shows all the tools that we can use. Uh, list projects, create projects, run SQL, so on, so on. There's a lot of different tools we now have access to, and we don't have to type in those tools uh, directly. It, we can just use natural language and we'll figure out what tool to use. And if there's certain things we don't want to do, like maybe we want to not 
we want to turn off delete brand. So now it, it's not going. Right now we can't delete a project. We may want to turn off a few things so it can't automatically accidentally delete something. We can do that. But now let's see what it looks like in action. So with MCP configured, I can ask Claude to perform database operations using natural language. So maybe I'll say create a new project named e-commerce. And when it tries to use an external integration, it will allow us to review and make sure we really want to do it. We can either allow once or just always allow. For this one, I'm just going to allow once. But obviously, if we click always allow, then we won't have to be clicking it every time. And now it asks us what we want to do next. We can tell it to create specific tables, but I'll just say, yes, create those tables because it already had an idea of what tables maybe it would want, I would want it to create. And then it's going to actually just write the SQL it needs. So I don't need to know how to cr create the SQL. It figures it out and automatically is going to create all the tables that I asked for. And then it's going to give me an, a summary of the different tables that have been created. So the users table has customer information and we have the products table with different information. Now I'll say add demo data to the products table. So we can use this when we're testing things to create sample data for our projects. And we can see what it's creating right now. And now it's giving us a summary. I added four product categories and 20 sample products. And I don't always need to stay in the same chat. I can start a new chat and I can continue to access my database. And the e-commerce project on Neon give me the products in books. Now it has no context of the old chat, but we'll see what it comes up with. And now it's giving me all the books from the database right in Claude. And if I go into the Neon dashboard on the website, I can actually go and see more information about this project. I can go to the tables, and then we can see all the information that Claude has added. And here are the, all the products. So MCP is transforming how we build AI-powered applications by creating a universal standard for context exchange and tool use. Thanks for watching.